Hi everybody, it's Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. Today we are working on the polishing of the bases that have already been fabricated out of the recycled bronze that I've had in my shop. We've melted them into their forms. So today is all about the next phase of how to completely finish those bases before the flower sculptures will be created and put on. Really looking forward to uh, seeing the finish of these because they're so happy. I can feel them. They're totally happy and coming on in. We need happy right now, so it's really fun to get to make these. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. After the welding, it's time to wire brush all of the bases and this gets the majority of the gunk off as you can see how good of a job it does cleaning it up. Using my Baldor grinder is next. This smooths and cleans beautifully. One of the most important things about the base is that it sits perfectly. Here there's just too much wobble and so I'm using my sander to just grind down the edges of the bases where it's not perfectly flat. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get them flat but it's worth the time because you do it now and it makes everything so much easier. I am using a slab of granite countertop because it is perfectly level. So when I place the base on it, I know exactly the location of where I need to sand down to make it perfectly flat. It feels really good when you know that it's gotten flat. I want to show you something. So here's the bronze that's melted when the the bronze that i use has silicon in it which is sand it allows a nice slide in the bronze so what happens though is that when you're doing it at the high temperatures like i'm doing it with the tig you get some silicone concentrated little deposits of glass because it's been heated up so here is one right here see that there's another one right there and um it won't take patina or anything. You can polish it out, but um, it usually shows a little bit pink. So I don't particularly like those in there. So I take a little hammer and I just bust it out. And so there's still a small piece left in there, but you just hammer right on it and it takes it out. And this one is down inside of the nook that the hammer isn't breaking free. So I'm just gonna poke it with my, I'm poking it and just pick it out there a little bit. And sometimes I can take my little pop and pop it in there and break it out. There we go. Whew, that thing is still hot. I gotta put my glove on. Hot potato. Okay. So, here we go. So there's just more of a divot and a hole right in there. And then you can wire wheel and repolish that. The bases are ready to have the flowers attached and so the next looking into the light episode is all about fabricating the flowers in a super happy positive way to bring that type of energy into the sculptures. My channel is growing and it's growing because of you so just saying thank you that way. We will see you on the next looking into the light.
I hope you're out there doing something different because when we do things that are different, then new pathways open and we can have new exciting things come into our lives. Don't forget to do something fun because that's the pathway of the divine. See you guys.